Parat standard and custom fields. What are Parat standard fields? Parat standard fields are prospect default fields that appear in the system by default when Parat org is installed. In other words, when Parat is purchased, all these prospect default fields will be there available for you. What are Parat custom fields? Whenever someone creates custom field in Salesforce and want to have the same custom field in Pardot, they will need to create that custom field in Pardot. The easy way to determine custom fields in Salesforce and Pardot are actually by the field API name. The custom fields have underscore underscore C in the end. Who are prospects and what are prospects fields? In Salesforce, we have two separate objects leads and contacts. And from the business point of view, it completely makes sense to have these two objects as separate. I like to think about the leads as a business card. Imagine you just spoke to someone, got their business card, and all you know about them is a high level information like their name, where they work, and what they do. Leads represent potential sales opportunities or new customers. And contact is someone you are about to establish a business relationship with, opportunity in progress, or with whom you are already doing business. But in Pardot, leads and contacts are stored under one object, so-called prospects. As from the marketing point of view, they all go through the same or similar marketing journeys. For example, they all can receive the same newsletter or new product notification emails. But of course, if you wish to exclude one or another from your nurturing, you can simply use the following CRM status filter. So in a nutshell, what I wanted to say that in Parat, prospects are treated equally. They are people who you are marketing to. And then further, if you need, you can use various filters to create target segments. And logically, prospect fields are all fields that you have on a lead or a contacts object subject to their visibility to your Pardot connector user. Do I need to create standard Salesforce fields in Pardot? For all prospects, meaning leads and contacts and accounts, Salesforce standard fields will be created for you. But for opportunities object, you will need to create Salesforce standard and custom fields yourself. The hands-on part. Now I will navigate to the Pardot settings and expand the objects and fields configuration. Here you can see options to create custom objects and configure prospect fields, account fields, and opportunity fields. Now let's press on prospect fields. In the bottom of this page, you will see all default leads and contact fields. And on the top, of this page, you will see all custom fields in your organization somebody already has created. Or if there is none, you will see no fields in the custom fields section. Long term, to save some time in every new org I log in, I like to select showing 50. This will now be displaying me 50 fields on one screen every time I will come back here. From my perspective, it's just a little bit easier and in one page you just get bigger overview in one go. Additionally, you can use this filter box to search for the name field if you remember the exact name for the speedy search. To create a new field, press on Add Custom Field button. Enter your desired field name. Note that this name won't be seen by the prospects. It's only used for your internal Pardot usage. The next item you can see is custom field ID. It will carry on an automatically generated value. Make sure to leave it as it is. And be mindful that this value cannot be edited after you actually press save button. You can add a tag to a field to help you organize your collection of custom fields accordingly. It's an optional setting which does not affect your custom field negatively if not done. Salesforce field name pick list. Here you will see all the fields that you have already in your Salesforce on the lead and contact object. 
If by any chance you don't see a field that you are looking to map with your Parat field, make sure to check the B2BMA Parat Connectors field accessibility settings in Salesforce. And if the field is hidden there, you won't be able to see it there. So that's the reason. Be mindful of your field accessibility settings. And if you create new field in Salesforce, make sure to make it straight away available to B2BMA settings if you want to see it in Pardot. In sync behavior settings, for the field, you can choose one of three scenarios that will happen if Pardot and Salesforce values differ when data sync occurs. We can choose to always use Salesforce value, use Pardot's value, or use the most recently updated records value. Whenever there is a discrepancy in the system, a different value in Salesforce and Pardot, or for instance, your prospect is already existing in Salesforce and Pardot, and they go ahead and capture another form and provide you with a new value, at that moment, by initially deciding on the sync behavior settings, the system will know which value it should keep. If you have selected use Salesforce value, the new value that they have provided by submitting Pardot form will be overwritten later by Salesforce value. Therefore, be very careful. Decide which fields potentially marketing can keep up to date with their forms and which fields should be kept up to date by the sales team or other employees in your company. Pardot by default has less types than Salesforce has. The reason behind this is because in Pardot, we do not need so many values simply. We just need those specific fields that we are using in Pardot forms mostly. As you can see, here we have number, date, radio button, checkbox, drop down, text area, multi select, hidden, and CRM user. Pay attention, we do not have time and date. We only have date. Do not worry if you have date and time in Salesforce. If you want to export that field in Pardot, just use date and Pardot will only keep that date part in the field. On the other hand, if you want to have date and time value, you should be using text field instead. We also have a hidden field option. They are used mostly in Pardot forms. Hidden fields are used when for instance, your prospect goes to a LinkedIn post and post has some UTM parameters. So whenever prospect actually clicks on that post link and gets redirected to your website or your Pardot landing page, those UTM parameters will be in a link when they click and land on your landing page. In my example, I will select a pick list. If this field already exists in Salesforce and has a value, these will be automatically populated as you can see below. Key thing to keep in mind is that whenever you actually add a new value to a pick list in Salesforce, you need to come to this, the same field in Pardot, click on the round arrow icon and sync the latest values from Salesforce to Pardot. You will then need to scroll down and tick new values that appear on a screen and click save. This is very important because otherwise you'll start getting some prospect sync errors in your Salesforce connector and prospects won't be syncing because they won't be able to update prospects with the latest Salesforce values that you have created in the Salesforce CRM. Lastly, there's a checkbox with various preferences. Tick the one that you want to apply for your new custom field. You can always leave them unchecked if needed. Record and display multiple responses. Allows multiple values to be stored in the field as a list. The most recent value appears at the bottom. When a field has this setting enabled, it can't be used as a variable tag. Use predefined values for radio buttons and drop-down lists. Select this option to have prospects selected from a list or values. If you update the field, add new value and delete the old value, changing the value will override the value 
in the prospect record and can affect your automation rules. So be very careful. Validate field on import. This compares prospect field values against the fields, predefined values and imports only those prospects with accepted field values. This setting is available only when use predefined values is enabled on a field. You also have the option to pre-fill the pick list with the predefined values like countries, country codes, and so on. These are generally universal values that you can also define in Salesforce. After you click create custom field, your new field will now be visible in your prospects field screen. You can now start using this specific field by adding it to your forms, dynamic lists or segmentation rules. All the product power is now in your hands. Are there any default prospect field character limits? Yes, by default, prospect fields use character limits measured by bytes. Most simple letters use one byte each, but more complex pictographs use more bytes per character. Where can I see my Pardot default and custom field values for each prospect? To review each prospect individually and see all the values, you will need to navigate to prospects, select the desired prospect from the list or by searching for it. Here on the top left, in the content, you will be able to see key prospect fields. Below, in the insights, you will see scoring, grading, and engagement related information. In additional fields, you will see all default fields. In the column on the right, you will see all custom fields. And below, in Google Analytics, you will see your UTM parameter fields. Where can I create custom fields for custom objects? For all custom objects, all fields will be read only and you will be able to use them only in automation rules, segmentation rules and dynamic lists. So no need to create any custom field for you. And now a workaround for your future headache. Yes, we have got you covered. Unfortunately, Pardot does not allow to create lookup fields, but there might be a need when you need to display a lookup field like the account owner name in Pardot. For this, you will need to create a formula field in Salesforce as a text and then create the same text field as a custom field in Pardot. Make sure to run mass sync on all prospects to make sure all prospects in Pardot sync the text formula value in Pardot. This might take up to four hours, so plan this activity timely. So happy standard and custom fielding in Pardot.